Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 1st through the 8th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. You've been showing up in a lot of people's readings, let me tell you, and we have the devil here at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, you just keep popping up. You came up in the last reading I just did and I almost forgot what sign I was reading for because I was just so stuck on you, Capricorn. So let's see what's what's really your message here. I honestly think that the devil card is showing up in a lot of people's readings because of the fact that Pluto is an Aquarius and Pluto deals with the underworld, the darkness, you know, the death, things that are coming to the surface. So I feel like just in general, that energy of things, you know, coming from death to the light is just really, um, and of course we end here with you at the bottom of the deck. You're just, you're everywhere. You know, the, the idea of things that normally seem bad, um, but really it's illuminating something bigger is really the theme here that I'm seeing for a lot of people. And that's a good thing because I think that really speaks to how we're evolutionizing as a, as a society, specifically the people that are, you know, spiritually awakened. Anyway, we have the Nine of Swords, the Star, the Justice, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Temperance. I feel like you're going to get a long-awaited message coming. You're going to get some sort of justice here. I feel like someone's going to come out of nowhere and be like, Hey, I don't know if you remember me, but I owe you. I feel like you're going to get something given to you. Something is going to come here that you deserve, that you've been deserving for a very long time now. But I feel like it took someone a lot of courage. It took someone a lot of growing up to do for them to come out and just tell you, hey, I, I'm sorry, I owe you this, here it is. So I feel like justice is coming towards you in the form of communication, in the form of some sort of message. Someone here is just going to blatantly just come out and say, hey, you were right, you deserve this, here it is. So with the Nine of Swords and the temperance i also feel like for some time now you've been thinking about this it's like you didn't want to admit it to yourself but you've been thinking about this thing that you've been owed you've been thinking about someone that owes you an apology or you've been just really worrying or stressing or feeling badly because of this for a really long time but you don't you don't let it get to the surface until now i feel like now you're really feeling it again because this person is going to communicate with you and you're going to realize wow like they really hurt me or this really impacted me but honestly capricorn this is just one of the many amazing things that's coming towards you because with the star and the queen of cups i feel like your whole world has changed since then i feel like you're embracing love for for the first time in a long time i feel like there's so many things that you're excited for so many new opportunities that you're there that you're um taking advantage of i feel like you have so many new experiences to look back on so this situation that's kind of resurfacing it's really just giving you this sense of pride because you survived that. And now that you're getting this apology or now that you're getting this message or this validation, you're like, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but I don't need it. And that's, that's the true message here is like, you're going to get so many things. You don't need half of them because you are full and content within yourself because you've been able to make a life for yourself without anyone's help. Or without this person's help, that's for sure. All right, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. To me, this is kind of you looking at this situation and thinking that, you know, you're realizing, okay, yeah, at the beginning, I stressed about it, it sucked, but now I'm just kind of looking at it like it's one, one of the many things I've lived through, one of the many experiences, it's only made me wiser. So I feel like you're looking at this from a very mature perspective, but it's still coming. You know, you're still going to get the justice. You're still going to receive this. You're just taking it in with a very mature mindset. We have the Queen of Swords, the Judgment, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Moon. With the Moon and the Page of Cups, you could be 
dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. There's definitely water energy here, but really to me, this is kind of just saying that you're allowing yourself to receive love after a long time of not thinking that you deserved it. After a long time of thinking that it didn't exist. I feel like the unknown to you was love. I feel like you didn't know love for a while. You didn't really feel like true love was out there for you. But I feel like now you're really taking it and you're starting to accept it and embrace love in, in the many ways that it's showing up in your life. Because I feel like love has been showing up in many ways. Um, but with the Eight of Cups and the Judgment... I feel like you're very quick to walk away from people that don't give you that sense of security. You know, the people that don't make you feel like you can trust them, the people that make you feel like they have a hidden agenda, I feel like you're very quick to walk away from them. And I think that that's something that you've mastered. And I wouldn't be surprised if this person that comes through with an apology, you do the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if you hear them out, but then you just, you choose to walk away no matter what. It's like you're not going to take anyone's you know, apology and let that change the way you think about them. You're still going to be very much in your right mind and you're still going to be very clear on how it is you feel about them. You're going to accept the apology because you're mature and you're not going to be, you know, low and, and low vibrational or, or petty or anything like that. You're not going to do that because you're above that. But you're not going to hear the, 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 the message, the apology and just be like, okay, we're cool again. You're going to be like, all right, thanks. I've, I've been waiting for that, but go on, you know? I really think that you're very much, like, level-headed right now. As you should be. Like, basically, this apology, this message is not going to impress you. That's basically what I'm getting. We have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you just know yourself too well to let anyone else kind of come in and tell you something. With the King of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Swords, I feel like this is really saying that you are you're in the middle here of these two energies, right? It's like you're the stable, financially independent, you know, you've you've got it figured out, Capricorn you know what you're doing with your life, right? You've done the work, you've made it this far, you know where you're headed. You may not have everything you need, or maybe you do, but the point is you have a very clear idea of what it is you need to do to take care of yourself. But then we have this, you know, information coming through, this this person trying to make things right, and you're here having to think about, okay, moving forward, not looking back, progressing, just going to new territory, not looking back into the past, so then now having to think again about what this person did to you, and, you know, going through the whole thing in your head, this, you know, reliving this experience. And you're like, do I really have to do that? The choice is, is yours. And the answer is no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to relive any experience you don't want to. Just because someone is coming back doesn't mean you get to forget what they did to you. Just because someone comes back with an apology doesn't mean you get to all of a sudden forget the dishonesty you know, the, the lies or the, the stealing or the cheating. You don't, you don't get to forget about that. So I really think that you're kind of like going to keep moving forward. You're going to keep trucking along because no, no apology is bigger than your worth. No apology is, you know, more valuable than your self-respect and your dignity. So I really think that this person, if anything, is just going to learn a very big lesson. Like, I feel like you're going to teach somebody a lesson here about dignity, honestly. Like, having having it. This is what happens when you don't have dignity, you know? You, you, you tell the apology or you give me the apology too late and I'm just going to leave you... I'm going to leave you right where you left me, you know? You know, it's kind of one of those readings where it's like, I hate to, to to say it like that, but it's the truth. And I feel like you understand that. We have the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. With the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups, I feel like you have like gone through 
the worst of the worst already and this situation was part of your past and it's there for a reason and i feel like you've done so much healing and so much growing since then and you've fallen in love with your life yourself and you're still giving more to yourself that the thought of putting more energy and thought into that past person just doesn't make sense to you so you're like i'm just going to continue feeding myself nurturing myself giving life to myself increasing my self-esteem my emotional fulfillment my self-awareness self-growth development all of that and just focus on on what's mine already what's in my destiny my future it does not involve this person it doesn't involve this situation anymore so i feel like you're just very focused but again just be 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 open to receiving because you are going to receive some sort of message here someone's going to try to make it right someone is going to try to make amends but i don't think you're going to be impressed um i'm going to leave it there and Capricorn, I, I, I respect you. You know, I think you're, you're really, you're handling the situation a lot better than, than I think I could. So leave it at that. If this reading was helpful and you liked it, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.